Do you write emails? Have you ever written emails? Or are you planning to write emails? Email එකක් ලියන්න හිතන් ඉන්නවද? එහෙම නැත්නම් email එකක් කවද හරි ලියලා තියෙනවද? Email නැත්නම් ලියමින් ඉඳ ඉන්නේ. එහෙනම් මේ පාඩම ඔයාටයි. So this is going to be a series. I'm going to talk about the little things in emails, especially the language aspect of it. So today, this video is about the email opening and the closing. If you want to know how to make a session, you can see the sessions that you can see in the session. You can see the email that you can see in the email. You can see the language that you can see in the same language, the language that you can see. සහ ඒ ඊමේල් එක ඉවර කරන්නේ කොහොමද කියන භාෂාමය පැති කර ගැන තමයි අපි මේ වීඩියෝ එකෙන් කතා කරන්න යන්නේ. So join Learn English with Rukshi. එතකොට දැන් ඊමේල් බොඩි එක ගත්තාම අපි ඊමේල් එක පටන් ගන්නවා. එහෙම නැත්නම් ඕපන් කරනකොට මොකද ඉස්සලම ලියන්න ඕනේ දැන්. සබ්ජෙක්ට් ඔක්කොම දාලා ඉවරයි කියලා උපකල්පනය කරමුකො. Now you are in the email body or on that. Right? So after that what? What are you going to do? Are you going to directly tell? ආ මෙන්න මෙන්න මේකයි මම මේ ලියන්නේ. එහෙම ඊමේල් එකක් පටන් ගන්න හිතන්නේ. එහෙම නැත්නම් එහෙම ඊමේල් එක සමහර වෙලාවට ලියන්නේ. No, you have to address the person. Ugulunta, amantra nea karana menama. Pudgalea, it's not the home address or something like that, but you need to address the person. If you address the person, you can keep it. If you have a key, you can keep it. So, how are you going to address the person in a formal way? If it is a formal setup, if it is an official email, how are you going to address a person? And if it is informal, what are the ways you can use? Hmm. There is a clear winner in addressing. Did you know what it was? Clear winner can make no comma live what may be there a little what not din nama tamay kisi pressure na by when and a look at a little what put that a little what we are going to some a connect a little what may be there a little what fresh now when in a that is hi name put duck it right at the cock maggie some of that thing that connect a hi name we're going to shoot back at the formal car on on hmm hello name hello nisan sala right and then if you want to make it formal imagine that you're writing this email to a person from your director board then it is dear mr sirivardhan ඔන්නොහොම තමයි මේ හයි හෙලෝ ඩියර් කියන ලෙවල්ස් නෑ හැදිලා තියෙන. ඉතින් හයි ඔයගලන්ට පුළුවන් ඔයගලන්ගේ සම වටමින්න කෙනෙක් එකත් සහ සමහර විට ඔයගලන්ගේ බොස් ගොඩක්. කිට්ටු නම් ඔයගලත් එක්ක හොඳ සම්බන්ධකමක් තියෙනවා නම් ඔයගලට හිතෙනවා නම් ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ කියලා දැම්මු. දැන් හයි ද නේම්. ටිකක් ෆෝමල් වෙන්න ඕනේ නම් ඊට වඩා චුටක් අපි හිතමු බොස් කෙනෙක් නැත්නම් බොස්ගේ බොස්ට ලියනවා නම් ඊමේල් එකක්. I am not that familiar with that person but you know him. right hello the name of the person if you really want to respect that person from a top position then you can write dear mr so and so or dear nima imagine that you're addressing a person in a general email um, you don't know the name of the person you don't know the company name sama hara wala ehema wena awasthawa lena samanyen poduwe ogolonta email ekak yawanne no connect ogolu danne kaata de yawanne idin eka sama hara wena wata katti ekata wenna puluwan yawanne ek kenata wenna puluwan ogolu danne ne e welawata there is a there is a nice word you can use that is greetings greetings again if you're writing a reply or if you're sending an email to a group of people kandayam ekata yawana email ekakadi ogolu danawa mokada danne hi all hi ladies hi gentlemen wage ewa danawada hmm me ewa danawa nan pottak mataka tiya ganna meka chutaka thara abrupt abrupt kene pottak hari ne ehema daana kora hi all it's bit stuffy it's better to always use hi everyone hi everyone 
right? So you, you don't have to be gender specific, like um, when you use hi gentlemen or hi ladies, you become, you, 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 you'll be gender specific. So you don't have to be like that. You can simply say hi everyone and the tone is also really nice in hi everyone. So what are the informal ways that you can um, use in your emails when you're addressing uh, a person? You can simply write, hi, hey guys, hey folks, hey uh, all, something you can use, hi everyone, you can use anything. So remember, hi is always a clear winner if you are using it in your email. Okay, now let's take a look at a summary of how to open an email with the address, how you're going to formally address someone and how you are going to informally address someone. Formal ways are, hi, name, if you want to be a bit more formal, then you can use hello and the name. Dear and the name of the person will be really formal, it is a bit stuffy, but still you can use it when you are writing an email to one of the members from your board of directors. Greetings, if it is a general email. Hi everyone would be nicer than hi all, hi gentlemen, hi ladies because hi everyone is the tone is really nice. So some of the informal ways that you can use are hi everyone, hey guys, hey all, hey. What are the things that you should not do when you are addressing someone? Eka ganat balan no niti karane kama samahar velaat karane kama balala thi ven ni nahe samahar velaat thi ena ane da api nokal yuto devalu email sala thi ena ane da hema thi ena mukada api samahar velaat karan no na deeta vada nokaran no na deeta me vadi enkarane hinda mangi tuwa podak api nokaran no na deval vali email leka patanga the address karane karan nokaran no na deval ki pege na kata karan. Misspelled name. Misspelled name. Namak varadiyata spell karane katarang. Samahara minister. Samahara minister to me maangita ni oonu ma kenei. Maitha balle pava asai. Thamugi nama lassanta. Yeah, that name. Spelling. Samun lassanta kiya na wana. I think email leka kadi. Api spell karane vidya pe na wana. I think spell karane kota. लसन टा एक आ स्पेल कराना लसन टा क्या नहीं का हरी एट स्पेल कराना आप इतना गानों नहीं तो आप इनाम दाने नहीं था एक है ना के नामे स्पेलिंग्स हरी एट होया गये हैं मैंने तो ये आगे ईमेल एड्रेस के तीनों ना ये किंग मैंने पुलवां ये आंध्र ने किन्हें किन्हों ना ये आगे मैंने पुलवां इमेजिन � Prime Minister, or maybe uh, uh, to a person who is from the Prime Minister's office, call that person and check what his name is. Check the spellings. Ask someone. Podak mahan sivena hariye to namas spell karan vidhi hoya gan because when you are a professional. You really need to be very specific uh, about these things because little things say a lot about you. Dear Sir, Madam, क्या नहीं मैंने जरा दाना नहीं दे। Come on, man. Now, in some books, in some material, they say don't use dear Sir, Madam. मुकुट तो dear Sir, Madam के लिए दान है। अपनी गांव शेप पे लाया ना निगां यहाँ दवागे लिस्सा लाया ना दान है ड्रेस का क्या ला? ही तो इन्ने पुलो आंग। अपने किसी में फर्ट का दाल ने आने में पुट गले आगे नमो या गन। ऐसे मत ही तो इन्ने पुलो आ। ए ईमेल रिसिपिएंट इतने उगलने तो पुलवा हैमा अवस्था आवक दी मैं पुत गले आगे नम होया गया ना बाला ने काम मैली वैन ने पापू ने नम होया गया ना बाला ने तीन ये मैं पैरी मावस्था आवक दी ना नांग कमाक ने है डियर सर मैडम कि है ना आमंत्रणे पाबिची कराते Tawa ika kapi use kerana nama dana ni ati kuda when we don't know the person that we are addressing we will use this phrase to whom it may concern. Papa Chika another. To whom it may concern. Did you know that this is really rude to use to whom it may concern? People, when they receive an email with the, the address to whom it may concern, sometimes they may not read that email. Personally, what I also feel is if I receive an email with that Part to whom it may concern, I will not read that email. 
ඉතින් ඉතින් ටු මී ටු හූ මිට් මේ කසන් කාට හරි මේක ඉතින් යන කෙනාට ආය ඉතින් ඔයාලට මේ ගානක් තියනවා නම් කියවන ආ මට ගානක් නැහැ මම කියවන්න මොකටද එහෙම හිතන්න පුළුවන් ඉන්න මේ හම්බ වෙන කෙනාට ඊමේල් එක ඔගලොන්ට ඕනේ ඔගලොන්ගේ ඊමේල් එක ට්‍රෑෂ් එකට යන්න ස්පෑම් එකට යන්නද එහෙනම් දාන ටු හූ මිට් මේ කන්සන් සෝ මේක් ෂුර් දැට් යු ඩෝන්ට් යූස් දිස් ෆ්‍රේස් හියර් ආෆ්ටර් ටු හූ ඉට් මේ කන්සන් සම්ටයිම්ස් ඉන් ෆෝමල් ඊමේල්ස් Veda, the time is busy. You're very busy, and you don't have time to write the name of the person. So you just put, "Hey, hi." Have you ever done this? Karla, do you know that? My dear, Samahara, that is a Karana Deval world. Veda, Api, Nokali, you to Deval. Gana thamai katha karan milati. Ne Api emails le godak kela or daaki na. Maybe there is kisi mo salaki illak na to email liye na emails. Ding hari godak kena thamai Api thamu daos kri emails. Desi ya tu si ya pansi ya reply karan mene mela val tiye na pula. Eight. Me podi podi Deval ning Api Nokali you to podi podi Deval valing. Api gana godak Deval. So if you don't write a name after your hi, or sometimes you just put hi, please don't do that. Because every person would like to uh, get that respect. It, it's just a simple email. You don't have to say, you don't have to say, email like that. You don't have to say, email like that. You don't have to say, convey some message. You will use it as a communication method. So please. Please have that name. Please put some extra effort. Some other lot of things. Phone can and type can. You will get that name. Auto correct. Google it. Any comment suggest can. No, no, no. No, no. Put that. Hitan ne ka gana. Google asne hamagi man nang asne ha. I kila mati email ka ke na. No, madha ne na tu atta tu. E hitan ne hamagi. Chuti deva gana. E vap karane mana put that. Valak karna. Vade karane ata sikura da vakya ne ko humda. ஜோய் <laughs> the other person the recipient may not feel it the same way me manasu dakka a po me mona pisuwi karayak da me mata happy friday kiyala wala thene me hitenna puluwa right so when you use these extra words ogolo tone email ekak lassana karanna den owa hitena mariyawa nikan arewa nikan poda jogiyen nikan kuchi kawala gattot hondai kiyala ithin daanawa ehima daanne pa me wage wachana puluwan taran adu karanna balanna hmm Offices, uh, we use nicknames, right? Even we have pet names. Uh, we have uh, sometimes some people they like use the short name in offices. He then Patrick, nang yata pi Pata kiya na. Ranjan, nang api yata Ranja kiya na. Malkanti, nang api yata Malka kiya na. Ehem na tanga api samhar vela mat Siri Vardhan, nang yata Siri kiya na. Lalit, nang Lali kiya na. Wage pody 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 naam tiya na ani. කට්ටි ඔෆිසර්ස් වල තියෙනවා හරි ඉතින් දැන් හිතන්න පළවෙනි වතාවට කාට හරි ඊමේල් එකක් ලියනවා එහෙම එයාගේ නම සිරිවර්ධන right now it is like it is a long surname right so you will start writing the email now this is the first time you are writing this email to this person ඔෆිස් එකේ කෙමු කො so you are guessing ආ මම එයාගේ නම සිරිවර්ධන නේ sure එකටම සිරි වෙන්න නැති කියන ඇත කියන so you write hi siri imagine what that the other person will feel so please don't use the nicknames if you don't know it imagine sirivardhan mr sirivardhan you send you an email and you receive, you receive an email from uh, sirivardhan and underneath when he signing off he has that siri part in it eh na what to do and then email like reply karana kota ah then you can use siri because he has already conveyed that he has already uh, told you that ah okay i am siri you can call me siri then you have permission to address him as siri most common mistake we make when we write emails especially when we are busy is to miss this opening mukut ne ohe hi wat hello wat happy friday tiya mukut mane ohe liyena email ekak this is to write uh, this is to bring to your attention that uh, the meeting which is scheduled to happen on the 5th of may is not going to take place 
Hi, hello everyone. Munatman. Right? Then you can talk to you. You can talk to you. You can talk to you. You can talk to Please. Hamu manusia masa itu, kamu tu respect pekat dengan orang Islam yang kiu awak aje. Orang Mei awak ni kan, muna tu segala. Ni kan, ni kan muna tu kan, khata hari mana dama lagi hana awak aje. Ada kau guru email lekak, kau mesti kisah address lekak, ni tu yang awak nak kena. Samar mana ada? Apa apa bos lete nang amu dia dala, muti nemei, hati nemei, wati piting allah nama dia dala, hai bos dala, hai orang dala, mereka dala, orang ni tu tenan tu tak mister Kelly dala, sir dala. Apa sama hari bela tapi sama mata main. It can be a co-worker or sometimes it, especially this happens when you're writing an email to a subordinate. Ogulu hi thana ma ki vedati ne ke ne ke ne. Ah, e manusya te mamu kada nama kiya kiya hamati sam email ne. Mane mane red ne toi kiya la mona dhaane. Ah, please give me the information I requested. Nama ne. Mukut ne. Ada iting email ke signature ke ada katiya ni inda deyang ke pita e katiya na ma. Email signature ke evan ne kau dek iya ne. Karena mut ni kang ha e mona te tu dhaano. Please don't do that because that is really rude. That will tell a lot about you. Ogolo kitan ne, ogolo ke podi email leka ki, ogolo ke ne kuch sara deval kiye na dekhela. Manusya ke ka kata karuna karuna na apite puluang apite kiye pu deval ni varad dekhena na muthi tan. Email leka connect gya te passe. Ogolo illiya pu vidin tamai ekhe na oyaav maneinne. Eti ka matkati agan, right? So let's look at the closings hereafter. Closings of an email. Closings again, the signature part. What to how to how to put your signature after which word? There are a few words that you can um, take into consideration. It is email ka kivara karunu kora pi namada na kaling puri vachane adha na ne mukari best regards ne pula best wishes ne pula sincerely ne pula me me mona adha me vachane piti passe tiye na te room ke la pi pulda balam right? So regards when you talk about the word regards, regards you may feel that it's a bit heavy. Pudak, eh, mih hitain pun orang ni pudak bara wedi ni tu, but this is the clear winner for a formal email. It's okay to put regards and your name, and you can have your name after regards. So what about sincerely? Sincerely, kita logo dah anu ada email tu. Now sincerely, it is appropriate when you're writing a cover letter and when you have, when you're addressing the person that you're writing the cover letter to. Then put sincerely because sincerely is a very formal term. You don't usually find it in casual business emails. Casual, you're going to go office, okay? I'm a lady, I'm a young email, like a boss, to win the pull one, co worker, connect to win the pull one, subordinates, like to win the pull one. But you don't find these uh, sincerely in it, right? Um, best wishes. Now, I'm a best wishes, okay? I'm a chin, I'm a chin, I'm a chin, is a really friendly formal term. You can always use best wishes uh, when you want to um, when you want to build that nice tone in your email because the ending then anti ma minus no matter ke hiti na wani email ke ka kiya wage na avila anti ma tiwara karana point ekey di ani me manusa muna me manusa ke tone ne ka mukada kila anti ma ta mai ogolo close in ne ka de ni thing hunda ta close in ne ka power ne da orchestra ka gi la gi la gi la close in ne ka ara mehema karana dakala thiyena ne da etakota e e e lead karana kota eke podi lassana thiyena i think e wage ogolo orchestra ka gi la gi la gi la gi la me close in ne ka lassanta dunno e kenata godak a feel you know very so best wishes is a lovely uh, as I said it is a good blend of friendliness and formality you can use best wishes especially when you want to wish that person uh, good luck Sometimes at the end of an email, you show gratitude. Ogul ogul ogul. Kalahi guna. Ekay ne kalahi guna sala ki mat sa stuti wan tawe na samahar emails wala. Muna de to kot ogul paave chikaran hi thala balan. Now there are famous terms, right? Like this. Thanks in advance. Kila kiya na ni muna de. Thanks in advance for your support. Ekay ne tham support ekay deal na. Thanks in advance. Mang kaling advance ekay wagi de na mo yata thank you ekay. So it is. Sometimes people may feel like you're like ordering or you're like demanding you really want it and okay in the time I make a dhan ki la no mood it is a kind of okay to put uh, thanks in advance to write thanks in advance because it anyway sets that expectation ah, okay she is expecting something from me so I need to give that to her so thanks 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 kina vachane thani thanks itself is a clear winner so you can use thanks um 
uh, when you are expressing uh, gratitude, you can use the simple word thank. One thing I thanks, kena machine belua. Thanks in advance. Kaurari uda uva kisrahat karan ne inna manangi kena tapi kali ma thank you kela ke uva kena tapi uda uva ne matok karan do ne kela pi assurance ke dunna. And now someone has helped you out and you want to. Um, uh, appreciate him. You can have that word in your email. I appreciate your efforts. Um, I appreciate your input. I appreciate your feedback. I appreciate your help. Use that word. I'm grateful for that support. Thank you, Kiana Kata. Openings are the Pikatauna and Karan Hundanati Deva open Kanukut email like a thing closing the Latino Mema Pimapi Karana Namut Kuller. No you to Deva, Kihipak, then Balamuna de Kela. When you write formal emails, do you use the word love at the end? Love Rukshi. Can a mugging Yana my email, my auntie, but you were canonim on your heart. Yeah, the name of Yalu, office, you want to me, Yalu. Love. Okay, yes, the friend will definitely um, understand the love you that you have for him or her. But informal emails try to avoid this love part. Save those words for your for informal emails for your family. Ever typed thanks as in TNX? Regards RGDS. Harima BC. So you type it. So what do you think of it? Now, this is SMS language, right? SMS, short messages or use current language. You can imagine. So you're not allowed to use these things in formal emails. You can be busy, but still, make some effort. Put some effort to type the full word. Because now you're showing that you're a professional person. You're writing a professional email. You need to be professional when you're writing that. How did the come Sometimes they say, right? It's not what you say, but it's how you say it. So spellings means how you say it. So uh, be careful when you type um, short words. Um, in emails. So, do you use the term respectfully? Respectfully, use. Eva Geva? Puduma Gauravayak Dilamo, Gauravet, Puduma Gauravayak Dilam, you know the formal emails, I mean the boss of Endapuluang, director board, the Kataven Napuluang. Um, I would say that respectfully and respectfully, yours are terms that you should use with, say, the president or the government officials, or maybe you're writing an email to Trump. Or the, Respect, respectfully, otherwise you have the simple terms sincerely. Uh, if you're like addressing clergy, then yes, respectfully yours. So you can use respectfully uh, in those scenarios. So you can use respectfully in those scenarios. So you can use respectfully Just as that you have no opening, sometimes you have no closing, especially when you're typing an email on the phone. Right? This is a signature that you can use in a you just type it and send. Right? The receiver only has your email address on top and you don't have uh, the closing. Never do that. Always put some effort. My hammer is not a cue of a open in a kiddie. Tani dan. You know, again, I think Hari Rude, Hari Rinika, telephone call, like a quaggy coma. The car to tell Loki and Nato, a telephonic answer. Karano, train train. Car to get a grano. Killer, under the no, a coma, the hello, a cockney. Munato go to Titina, oh, Mimoka, Mimos, a catagran, not done in a telephonic, and never get a my open in a cockney email. A cock. It could hit on a phone necker on a catacarina. Ah, ye politagiane, mamma, one me, ye politagihilla, me, gatta, lulu, good duck, walla harila by lunu harila by killer, and then catavi, right? Push, colour phone necatina. It took a look at the name, I'm sorry, rude the phone negative. But on a way of feeling a comma, tamai, open the email like a close in a cock net, bang, a man who said he then, right? It's just the same. So always put some effort to have your email, you have your signature underneath, right? Okay, and then sometimes uh, people use. I saw a couple of emails last week, people use the initials. 
That is also a bit rude. Initials in MJ. MJ. MJ, MJ, can you type it? Ah, okay, please, uh, please send me the documents. MJ. Mm -hmm. At least have regards, uh, uh, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, that Michael Haridala, Pudda, Namadala, Lian, Mukade, Manusate, E. Ugulaki tones, a body up hitana, look at the acne makila. E tones, Pudda, a Manusate, Terin, Hinda, the Ugulapin, and I am there, Kogulan professional, Kene, Hinda, professional emails of the Neva, Tiagan. And sometimes people say, Have a blessed day at the end. Have a blessed day. What do you think? It's a nice term, yes, but it is more of like religious thing, right? It, it's, a, it's a religious statement. So if you can avoid religious statements in your formal emails, that would be good. You may feel that, ah, oh, no, it's okay, it's nice, but try to save these things for your family and friends. Um, these statements, like have a blessed day, take care, put it, put Paul Saha Hitabatun Venuin Yavani emails Valadi. Only me Tava Karanekatame Api phones or in Karanaka. We have seen this when people uh, send emails via phones. It's not an iPhone, but Tara Pudak iPhone Kakadakale. Send him from my iPhone. Eh, when it's an email again. Samara, the iPhone King Namiavan, it's a Samsung phone. People just type it, sending from my iPhone. Get a minute, type Kalana. So you don't do, don't do these things when you're closing an email. Because if it is not the same format which you get on an iPhone, it's not good for you. Right? And the final point in email closing is sometimes people have a lot of pictures, especially the companies, they have a lot of pictures underneath, underneath the subject. What do you think? email Right? Email So try to avoid many pictures as you as um, possible because it is really distracting to have a lot of sometimes it's just three words uh, on the email body and you have 10 to 15 pictures are going to clients so uh, try to avoid these things and your email closing will be super fabulous right okay so i'll see you soon with the second lesson of email writing soon most probably next week so stay tuned i'm rukshi rukshi panditharatna you're with learn english with rukshi